Hey everybody, so this is going to be like a mini grocery haul or, or part one of two grocery haul. Um, just got back from Loblaws and I picked up some, some good deals and um, Sunday I'm going to Costco. So that's where I'm going to get most of my stuff. But I thought I'd show you this and then tack on to Costco later on. So this is like 22 months out from surgery. So it's like eating like a normal person pretty much. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what I picked up. So the first thing, pizza, because everybody loves pizza. And these are the ones that I like, um, these McCain Ultra Thin. They're pretty good, they're like, um, I think it's like 140 to 150 calories for a quarter slice and like 25 carbs. So pretty good, so I usually get those, throw a whole chicken breast on there, some more vegetables, and it works out pretty good. I like the spinach, and I also got a, goat cheese vegetable one down there also. So this is kind of the thing, I'm still trying to break free from these things, drink mixes, but I didn't. So I got a tangerine grapefruit and I got uh, the old classic blackberry lemonade. Got some beans, gotta have some beans. Um, I'm planning on making a spaghetti sauce, so I picked up some cans of tomatoes. I got the, oops, that's French, you probably don't want to see that. <laughs> I've got the uh, pureed tomatoes, no salt added. And I also got the uh, diced tomatoes, again, no salt added. Um, I don't need salt, I get plenty of salt. Picked up a can of tuna, just to uh, munch on. As you can tell, I'm a big President's Choice fan. <laughs> They've got some good stuff, and they got some healthy options, too. And I got some black beans. This is, I'm going to make some more uh, black bean brownies. And that's, this is what I use because there's, like, hardly any salt in it. It's 10 milligrams of salt. Um, loads of potassium, loads of fiber, um, good amount of iron, too. So, pretty good thing to use. And I also picked up these, some frozen fruits. I put these in my shakes in the morning, and probably going to be putting it in yogurt too next week. Um, so I have like a berry mix that I normally use, but I thought I'd get something different. I got some some cherry and some peach, and these were a pretty good deal. They were like two eighty eight a pack, so they're usually like four bucks to six bucks a pack. So pretty good. Got a couple of fruit just to keep me until uh, Costco time. Uh, I got some I think Fiji apples. And I got some Bartlett pears. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my grocery store has finally clued on to the uh, protein bar market. They got a whole new display of about 20, no, more than 20, 50 different kinds of protein bars. Like, there's Simply Protein, there's Luna Bars, there's Naked Bars, there's a couple different kinds of Cliff Bars. So many bars, so many bars. But um, I like the Cliff Bars because um, they're good like post-workout sort of things. And I got some new, they had some new flavors, so I want to try them out. Cool Mint Chocolate, which pretty much sounds like the best thing in the world to me. I don't know about you, but that sounds really, really good. So if that's good, I'm going to go back and buy a case. Um, and then Oatmeal Raisin Walnut, which also sounded really good. And I never tried those before, so I will let you know. Okay, sort of the uh, coffee. Got to eat coffee. Um, this is... These are not really considered healthy, but for me, if I just want like just want some carbs, um, they're not bad. I think they're like 130, yeah, 130 calories um, and uh, 25 carbs. So, you know, I, I have these at like bedtime if I have some calories or something like that, just to keep me during the night. Got some yogurt. This is the Fatty Boy yogurt. Actually, no, it's two percent. It's not too bad. They have, in the Liberté brand, they have the 0, the 2, and the 5%. The 5% is really good. But uh, these are 2%. I think they're 100, yeah, 100 calories, 8 grams of protein, so not that great. But um, not a lot of junk either in the, in the ingredients. So, milk, sugar, bacteria. Milk protein. So... That's, that's the thing you got to work with. These are not the best to get. <laughs> Don't get those. Um, tortillas. These are like my mainstay for just making a sandwich or something. They last forever. I put them in the fridge. And the expiry date on these is April. So pretty cheap. 
And if you're getting tortillas, you want to look for the ingredients. And where are the ingredients here? Oops, sorry. There. First ingredient, whole grain, whole wheat flour. So, it doesn't, doesn't say 100% whole wheat flour, but there's no other flour there. So, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, it's got canola oil, which I usually avoid. Same with the palm oil, I usually avoid, but... You know, you have to make some compromises there. But um, these are pretty good. They're better than the El Paso brand or whatever. So, yeah. So that's part one. I'm back from the gym, so I'm probably looking pretty glamorous right now. But, um, yep, part one. So I will come back with my Costco haul. I don't usually buy a lot of stuff at Costco, but there's some things that you got to have if you go to Costco. So I'll let you know. See you later. Hey, everyone. Here with a late night <laughs> um, uh, grocery haul. Hopefully you can see this. I've got the light on my camera going. So um, yeah, hopefully that should help. So yeah, part one, you already saw. This is part two from Costco. And this is what I got. First of all, it cost a billion dollars. But I got, of course, protein powder. I got the Muscle Farm um, cookies and cream. And then I got the Costco brand Lean Fit um, Vanilla Protein. So the vanillas for my breakfast smoothie with fruit. And the Muscle Farm uh, Cookies and Cream is post-workout. Um, I think this is, it's not 100% whey, it's, it's whey concentrate. And, you know, whatever. So not the best, but super cheap. So I can't complain, right? And then I got all kinds of breads. Breads is for bread gains. Um, these are my favorite English muffins. They actually have a whole wheat one, but they're out of stock, so I had to get the regular this time. But Costco, again, really good deal. Uh, you get um, four packs of, what, six? For like $4, so really good deal. And I got some bagels. Love the bagels. Um... This is like the best, most economical cocoa you can get like at Costco. I think it's like $8. Um, this is like a pound and a half, almost two pounds, um, of dark cocoa. So really good deal. I got a bag of apples. Those are the delicious ones. And I got the plain probiotic yogurt. Now this is the good stuff, guys. It's got lots of bacteria in it. Good for your tummy. Good for your intestines. Um, I get the plain. I mix that with some berries, which I also got at Costco. This is a really good mix. A lot of blackberries. Love my blackberries. And um, that's got a lot of them. And for the first time I've seen at the Costco here, I got some skier. Icelandic style yogurt. So this is, again, it's, it's got the probiotic culture in there as well. But if you look at the stats, 150 calories for three quarters of a cup. And it's got 20 grams of protein compared to the regular yogurt, uh, which is lower calorie, um, 100 calories. Um, but again, that's flavored. This one's unflavored. But um, for the same volume, this one has 18. So more protein, more volume for the Icelandic uh, yogurt. So I'm interested in trying that out. And of course, I got the cottage cheese because sometimes you just need some cottage cheese. Um, all brand buds that goes with the yogurt for me. Uh, this is like my number one or number two source of uh, of fiber. I I put like um, what is it three quarters of a serving. It's like seventy calories. Gives me ten or twelve grams of soluble fi or insoluble fiber. So really good addition, guys. And of course, this is my bad little treat. I got some Fiber One bars. Um, not too bad, but sometimes, you know, you just have a meal and you want to have something a little sweet, a little lemony after. This is great. I think they're, yeah, 90 calories, 5 grams of fiber. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah, that's it. I'll pull back so you can see it all. That's for the thumbnail. <laughs> And that's all, guys. I am tired. I spent the day with the family, so I am going to hit the shower, find some food, and probably pass out. It's going to be a low-calorie day. But that's okay, because I'm going to diet. That's right, guys. 
I'm on a diet. I'm insane. I want to lose a couple of pounds. I don't know why. Just because. And uh, we'll see how that goes in a week or two, right? Anyway, guys, stay out there. Fitness, be strong.